Hey everybody, it's Chris Lowe here, and in this screencast I'm going to share with you how to get started with the app called Scratch Junior. Now, Scratch Junior, when you fire it up on your iPad, uh, you'll come to this screen, and if you tap on the home screen, you'll come to the projects page, and this is where I've got a bunch of different projects that I've worked on. You may have just the plus sign here. One thing to uh, do when you're here is to tap on the book up in the top corner. This will give you a little bit of info about Scratch Junior, but I think down here you've got some useful information that you can access. Uh, the interface guide shows you what all of the different uh, features are on the screen when you are working on Scratch. So for instance, number one here would be the save the current project and exit to the home page. Uh, number two is the actual stage itself. Jump over to number seven and uh, that's the button to reset the characters. So you can show the kids this and if they're unsure as to what to do on the screen, uh, they can go here. Another guide in here is the paint editor guide so um, shows you what, what all the different tools do on this paint editor guide and the last one is the blocks guide and it actually gives you an explanation of what each block does so it uh, states the name of the block and then also gives a little explanation and you can see that down we've got the blue the purple green all the different colored blocks and uh, this could be a helpful resource for your kids as well um, so, um, if they don't need that, I'm going to tap on the home button and go back here, and I'm going to tap on the plus sign to start a brand new project. Now, the cat is always going to be the default character on there, and if, um, if you want to make um, the cat move, and you're going to use these blocks to make the cat move, the first thing you need to do is actually start with a one of the yellow blocks. These are the um, these are the different starting blocks for the sequence of commands and I'm just going to simply use the uh, the green flag and actually if I um, press and hold on that um, block I get the start on green flag that uh, pops up so it kind of lets me know what that it gives me a, the, the name of that block so I'm just going to simply drag it down here so when I tap on this green flag, what do I want my cat to do? Well, a good thing to start with is to click on the blue motion blocks and you get all the different types of motion. You get left, right, up and down, turning, hopping, and also resetting back to the starting position. So I'm just simply going to move it simply uh, to the right. And in this case, the number one, it's just going to move one space to the right. I'm going to tap on that number one and up will pop a little bit of a, uh, a keypad over there and I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna say eight spaces to the right. Um, and so when I tap on the green flag, tap that, it moves eight to the right and it goes to the edge. Okay, so um, now remember I said this was the reset button if we tap on that button it'll bring my cat back to the middle where the starting point was now one thing I could do I could even just simply add this button here which is return to the beginning or the uh, starting point point. and now if I tap on the green flag and I could also tap on this uh, string of code so I'm gonna tap on that block down there and you can see it moved eight spaces or eight, eight spots to the right and then back to the initial spot. Um, so this is, you can have the kids play around with the different movements and see what happens. One thing to note here is that the turning, whoops, of course I can't use my mouse, I got to use this. The turning um, or rotating um, commands actually just to let you know that this is based on the clock. So if I was to do, say, the number six in there, it of course would rotate 180 degrees, which is half of the clock. So let's try that again. Click on the green flag, moves over there, and then it rotates 180 degrees. All right, so uh, this is a good way to start with your kids, uh, get them to play around and do lots of exploring with this app. Um, I'll, get, I'll have more videos up and uh, running to show you different things you can do with Scratch Junior. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye-bye.